हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट्स व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट इज रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन बिटवीन रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ कंट्री एंड फॉरेन रेजिडेंट ओवर अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम पीरियड बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट इज रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन बिटवीन रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ कंट्री एंड फॉरेन रेजिडेंट्स ओवर अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम पीरियड if any transaction that flow money into a country will credit in balance of payment account on the other hand if any transaction that flow money out from the country will debit in balance of payment account now what are component of balance of payment component of balance of payment means what we include in balance of payment in balance of payment basically we include two types of account uh, current account and capital account one by one we will discuss about each account firstly we discuss about current account of balance of payment current account of balance of payment represent net income of country over a specific time period and component of current account of balance of payment are visible item invisible item unilateral transfer income receipts and payment one by one we will discuss about each component of current account of balance of payment okay visible item visible item or those item which we can see touch and measure for example machinery rice tea and cloth and import of visible item will debit in balance of payment account yes import of visible item will debit in balance of payment account because money is going from our country on the other hand export of visible item will credit in balance of payment account because money is coming in our country okay now second invisible item we in invisible items are those items which we can't see touch and measure uh, for example services of shipping banking and insurance and similar import of invisible item will debit in balance of payment account and export of invisible item will credit in balance of payment account now third component of current account are unilateral transfer unilateral transfer means one way transfer of item from one person to another person unilateral transfer means one way transfer of item from one person to another person and one way transfer means transfer of item without any expectation in return uh, for example gift and donation okay uh, for example if you are giving if you are giving gift and donation to other country it will it will debit in your balance of payment account because money is going from your country on the other hand if you are receiving gift and donation from another country it will credit in your balance of payment account because money is coming in your country okay now last component of uh, uh, current account or balance of payment is income receipt and payment income receipt and payment means factor payment and receipts like uh, interest uh, rent and profit if you are uh, receiving factor payment from another country in form of uh, interest rent and profit it will credit in balance of payment account because money is coming in your country on the other hand if you are doing factor payment in another country in form of interest rent and profit it will debit in your balance of payment account because money is going from your country okay now we talk about capital account of balance of payment capital account of balance of payment represent net change in assets and liabilities of countries over a specific time period and component of capital account of balance of payment include loans and borrowings uh, investment to and from abroad and foreign exchange reserve one by one we discuss about each component of capital account of balance of payment firstly we talk about loans and borrowing loans and borrowings include all loans and borrowing that you give and receive from abroad it's include both public sector as well as private sector loans okay and when when you receive loans from abroad and foreigners do repayment of your loan it will come in credit side of balance of payment account because money is coming in your country on the other hand if you give loans to abroad and doing repayment of your loans in abroad it will come in debit side of balance of payment 
account because money is going from your country okay now investment to and from abroad it's include all transaction of investment in in shares and real estate it's include all transaction of investment in shares and real estate okay when you are doing investment in abroad okay when you are doing investment in abroad means money is going from your country that's why it will come in debit side of balance of payment account on the another hand if foreigners are doing investment in your country means money is coming in your country it will come in credit side of balance of payment account lastly we talk about foreign exchange reserve foreign exchange reserve mainly are foreign currency foreign exchange reserve mainly are foreign currency and central bank keep some reserve of foreign currency okay if foreign exchange reserve increase it will come in debit side of balance of payment account as we all know to buy foreign currency we have to give our currency okay means money is going from our country that's why if foreign exchange reserve increase it will come in debit side of balance of payment account on the another hand if foreign exchange reserve reduce decrease it will come in credit side of balance of payment account this is all about balance of payment and its component i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care